Millie, I need to talk to you. Sure. What is it, Molly? In Canberra, Australia, on December 4th, I witnessed Lee being taken into custody by the authorities. Not to mention, Timberly, Maggie Maxwell, Lucy Pertier, Sue, Zana, Christopher, Z, and Janice were all harmed by the actions of Carla Casagrande, Classic Kylie, Lucy Van Pelt, and the Anonastians. Really? What happened? Why don't you go and find out? Um, okay. Yes, I am. Uh, the world is one of the best this birthday ever. Nothing can stop me and my cousins now. Oh my goodness gracious. Zeta, I think Addison just stole Karen Nickerinson's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all the stuff for Timberly's fourth birthday. Oh my god, Mr. Morris, you are right. She needs to understand that stealing someone's stuff is bad. Because that credit card belongs to Karen McCarrenson. Addison should be ashamed of herself. So how would she like it if Classic High New cancels Timberly's birthday delivery and calls Paula the Pirate Sorceress to return Karen's credit card to her? Wait a minute. Zeta, that's an excellent idea. If you tell Carl to suggest Classic Key New cancel Timberly's birthday delivery when he gets to school and call Paula the Pirate Sorceress to return Karen's credit card, then the League of Entitled Karens will be very happy. What do you think? I think that sounds great, Mr. Morris. I'm going to call Carl over here right now. Carl, report to Mr. Morris's office immediately. Okay, Zeta. Carl, we are not doing this again. Yeah. Please just go back to your room until bedtime. And besides, you are still grounded. I'm sorry, but Zeta just called me to report to Mr. Morris's office. So I must leave. Okay, Zeta and Mr. Morris, I'm here. Now what is it do you want to tell me? Carl, we're glad you asked. See, it appears that Addison stole Karen's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all the stuff for Timberly's fourth birthday. Wait! What the heck? Oh, for crying out loud. I cannot believe Addison did this to Karen. She needs to understand that stealing someone's stuff is not okay, because that credit card belongs to her. Yeah, we know Carl. So here's what you are going to do. Oh, and what is it? If you suggest Classic High New cancel Timberly's birthday delivery when he gets to school, and call Paula the Pirate Sorceress to return Karen's credit card, then the League of Entitled Karens will be very happy. What do you think? I think that sounds good, Zeta. Okay, I'm going back now. All right then, suit yourself. Um, hello, oh, hello there, Carl. What's up? Wait a minute, Classic Caillou, why are you homeschooling? I hate to tell you this, but Mr. Strickenback gave me in the new SML cast F-, which means we failed our summer school final exam by cheating. So Mrs. Clementine told us to do homeschool for the entire 2023 to 2024 school year, since she expelled us from school. Also, Mr. Strickerbeck told me to repeat 7th grade again for what I did at summer school on the first day of September. No. No? No! I can't believe Mr. Strickerbeck did this to you. And how dare Mrs. Clementine expel you in the new SML cast from school? First, she made you repeat 7th grade in Miss Green's class last year. And now, Mr. Strikebeck made you do it again? Goodness! Last year, Mrs. Clementine was supposed to make you go to 8th grade in Mrs. Robin's class. And this year, Mr. Strikebeck was supposed to make you go to 9th grade in Mr. C's class. Yes, I know Carl. So is there anything else you want to tell me? Yes, Classic Caillou, it is. 
You see, it appears that Addison stole Karen McCarrison's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all the stuff for Tim Burley's fourth birthday last night. Wow, just ran. I can't believe Addison did this to Karen. She should know she's not allowed to steal someone's stuff because that credit card belongs to Karen McCarrison. I know classic Caillou. So here's what you are going to do. Oh, and what's that? Since Tim Burley's birthday presents are going to be delivered in about 13 minutes, how about you cancel her birthday delivery before it's too late and call Paula the pirate sorceress to return Karen's credit card? Then the League of Entitled Karens will be very happy. What do you think? Good idea, Carl. Just give me for a minute. Okay, I'm going to cancel Timberly's birthday delivery before it's too late. Timberly's birthday delivery has been canceled. Yes, take this Timberly. You deserve an unhappy birthday. So classic Caillou, did you cancel it? Yes, Carl, I did. Perfect! When is Timberly's going to have her birthday gifts now? If you canceled her birthday delivery. Thank you so much. Now while you call Polly the Pirate Sorceress to return Karen's credit card, I'm going to call Zagar about you canceling Tim Burley's birthday delivery. Okay then. Goodbye, Carl. Oh, hello there. What's up? Hi, Zayda. I think classic Caillou is calling Polly the Pirate Sorceress to return Karen's credit card to her right now. Wait. Did he cancel Timberly's birthday delivery? Yes, it, that's correct. Perfect. When is she going to have her birthday gifts now, if he canceled her birthday delivery? Yeah, that's true, but you are not going to believe what happened to classic Caillou. Really? What happened to him? You see, I'm afraid I have no choice but say this, but first, Mrs. Clementine made him repeat 7th grade in Miss Green's class last year since he cheated on his summer school final exam. Then, this year, Mr. Strikebeck filled him in the new SML cast on their summer school final exam, and Mrs. Clementine told them to do homeschool for the entire 2023 to 2024 school year, since she expelled them from school. And finally, Mr. Strikebeck made classic Caillou repeat 7th grade again. What? No, you can't be serious right now. How dare Mrs. Clementine and Mr. Strikebag do this to classic Caillou and the new SML cast? He was supposed to go to 8th grade in Mrs. Robin's class last year. And he was supposed to go to 9th grade in Mr. C's class this year. I can't believe that Mrs. Clementine made classic Caillou and the new SML cast do homeschool for the entire 2023 to 2024 school year. They weren't supposed to be doing homeschool either. Yeah, that's right. And I think someone just entered Mrs. Robin's class. Okay then, I'll give you for a minute. Thank you, Zeta. Come, I hope the classic Kayla is home school. I know, Zage. I know. By the way, he already cancelled Tim Burley's birthday delivery. That's great to hear, and I already connected a ribbon from one end to another to stop Liam and Maddie from trying to cut his internet. Yeah, and this is what they get. Okay. I'm going back now. Okay, you take care now. Did I just hear that Liam and Maddie tried to cut classic Caillou's internet, Carl? Yes, but they failed thanks to Sage. You see, she connected a ribbon from one end to another to stop them. That's great. Since they tried to cut classic Caillou's internet, I'm going to call Zama to send them to a galoot. And then, I will call Z to send Addison there. Okay, have a nice day. You too. Bye. Good morning. This is Sana speaking. Who is calling me? Good morning, Sana. This is Sega the Sorcerer speaking, and I want to tell you something about Liam and Maddie. Wait, is this a kind of joke? No, Sana. It's not a joke. I'm serious. You see, they tried to cut classic Caillou's internet. But luckily, Sage stopped them by connecting a ribbon from one end to another. Well, I'm sorry Zita, but Liam and Maddie were supposed to do that. Well, it's too late, because Timberly's birthday delivery got cancelled. So I think they need to move to a galoot. So I want you to leave Nunavut and move to Ontario first. Then, send them to Nunavut. Okay, 
Excuse me, but I don't think I can do that, because I gather it is way too cold for them, so I'm afraid they can't go. Zavna, I am not going to repeat this again. First, leave Nunavut and move to Ontario. Then, send Liam and Maddie to Nunavut. Okay. Zita, this isn't working. You have to let me get busy here, because the waiters don't want me to leave this restaurant before 6.30. Goodness gracious heavens, Anna. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not joking around, and I am not kidding. I want you to leave Nunavut and move to Ontario first. Then, send Liam and Maddie to Nunavut. Okay. All right, Zita, this is getting on my nerves now. I am not going to send them here, that's final. Zavna, for the last time, they are going to Nunavut, because they tried to cut classic high views internet and they failed miserably. So I want you to just do it, all right? Adam, fine, Zisha. Thank you. And remember, this is absolutely your last chance. If you disobey me one more time, Mr. Morris will call the police to arrest you. So goodbye. Good morning, this is Z speaking. Who is calling me? Good morning, Z. This is Zeta the Sorceress speaking, and I want to tell you something about Anson. Wait, what? No, this can't be her. That's right, Z. You see, she just stole Karen McCarrison's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all the stuff for Timberly's birthday. But luckily, Classic Kai, you already called Paula the Pirate Sorceress to return Karen's credit card to her. Well, I'm sorry, but Addison was supposed to let Timberly's birthday gifts be delivered. Well, it's too late, because her birthday delivery just got cancelled. So I demand you send Addison to a galoot now. Excuse me, but I don't think I can do that, because I can't it is way too cold for her. So I'm afraid she can't go. Come on, Z. I'm serious. She has to go. Zeta, no she doesn't. Hey, I am talking to Z. So please stop. Now Z, I would like you to send Addison to a Kalut, please. Zeta, she's not going to send her to a Kalut. Ah, not you as well. Just let me finish calling Z. Z, this is your warning. Send her to a Kalut immediately. Zeta. Knock it off. I am not going to send her to a coward, and that's it. That's correct, Zeta. Come on, Zeta. We're serious. Z, last warning. Just do it right this instant. Okay. Oh, uh, all right, Zeta. Fine. Thank you. And remember, this is absolutely your last chance. If you disobey me one more time, Mr. Morris will call the police to arrest you. So far. What the? Z's last chance? How could Zeta say that? Yeah, it's impossible to say that. Besides, Z would never do anything wrong. I have to agree with that. Um, hello? Hello, Zeta. This is Melody Luna. Now why haven't Timberlake's birthday gifts been delivered? Oh, I'll tell you why. You see, Anderson just stole Karen McCarrison's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all the stuff for Timberly's birthday last night. But luckily, Classic High, you already called Paula the Pirate Sorceress to return Karen's credit card to her, because he cancelled Timberly's birthday delivery. Oh, no, this can't be happening. Yeah, this is just impossible. Well... Liam and Maddie tried to cut classic high views internet, but they failed thanks to Sage. See, she stopped them by connecting a ribbon from one end to another. What? Oh my gosh, that new member of the Alanastians is not going to get away with this. How dare she stop Liam and Maddie by connecting a ribbon from one end to another? She needs to realize they were supposed to cut classic Kayla's internet. Well, Marina, it's already too late. I already called Z to send Addison to a Kalut for stealing Karen McCarrison's credit card. And I already called Zadna to send Liam and Maddie there for trying to cut classic high views internet. So I'm afraid I must leave. Bye. Okay, Carl, I finished calling Z to send Addison to a Kalut. 
Thank you. This will teach her a lesson for stealing Karen Karenson's credit card. Bye. Now, Carl, just unacceptable. I can't believe Addison did this to Karen. I know, Lucy. So sending her to a galoot will teach her a lesson for stealing her credit card. Wait, what that? Carl, I'm taking your phone away from you, and I am reporting this to Mrs. Clementine. Okay, classic hi, you. I finished calling Zabna to send Liam and Maddie to a galoot. Thank you. This will teach them a lesson for trying to cut my internet. Bye. Excuse me, Miss Green, but just what do you think you are doing? Classic Rosie, your brother just used his phone during Zoom. So I'm afraid I had no choice but to quit the Zoom call. Hey, you can't just quit the Zoom call. He needs you. I'm sorry, but I am also notifying your parents about him. Calm. Mrs. Robin just told me what happened. I think he just used your phone during class. Is this true? Yes, Mrs. Clementine, it's true. The reason why I used my phone during class is because I just received a call from Zayn, and she told me that she finished calling Z to send that as into a cupboard. Wait, what? Well, that's right. It appears that Addison stole Karen the Karenson's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all the stuff for Tim Burley's birthday last night. But luckily, Classic Caillou already called Polly the Pirate Sorceress to return Karen's credit card, because he cancelled Tim Burley's birthday delivery since I suggested him to do it. So I'm sorry, but Liam and Maddie failed to cut Classic Caillou's internet, because Sage stopped them by connecting a ribbon from one end to another. Also, how dare you do this to Classic Caillou and the new SML cast? You should realize that homeschooling for kids is not okay. Well, Paul, Mrs. Clementine had the right to do that, because Classic Kayla and the new SML class cheated on their summer school final exam by looking up the answers on Chef PP's cell phone. But Mrs. Milliard, Classic Caillou was supposed to go to ninth grade in Mistress's class. Well, I'm sorry, but he should have thought of that before he decided to cheat on the summer school final exam along with the new SML class. Yeah, that's right. And just for ruining Timberley's fourth birthday along with classic k you are suspended until Christmas break. Go home now, and I'm calling your parents. Oh, we just got a call from Mrs. Clementine saying that you and classic k just ruined Timberley's fourth birthday. Why did you do this? Aguelo and Aguelo, the reason it's because Addison was not supposed to steal Karen's credit card. And it's also because Liam and Maddie were not supposed to be trying to cut classic k Excuse us, Carl, but Addison, Liam, and Maddie were supposed to make Timberly happier. Besides, today is her birthday, and we can't believe you and Classic Caillou did this to her. I agree with Avila. Thanks to you, Timberly is now going to cry. So because of all that, you're grounded until your suspension is over. Now go to your room. And we are also going to have to call Classic Caillou's parents about this situation. Classic Kayla, your mother and I just received a call from Carl's grandparents saying that you, along with him, just ruined Timberley's fourth birthday. Also, how dare you use your phone during Zoom? Thanks to you, you made Miss Green quit the Zoom call. So because of this, you are grounded until Christmas break. Now stay in your room. Okay, Carl. It's time to get ready to go. Oh, for crying out loud, Z, we are not doing this over and over again. I just received a call from Zayla, and she told me that she finished calling me to send that as into a cupboard. Why? It's because she stole Karen's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all the stuff for Tim Burley's birthday last night. Well, Carl, that's too bad. Because those are already called Mr. Gunian to call Z to send you to our I agree with your grandparents. Now come on. No bus, no excuses, and no exceptions. Okay, Classic k it's time to get ready to go. Come on, Zona. I just received a call from Zeta and she told me that she finished calling you to send Liam and Maddie to Encalwood. Why? It's because they tried to cut my internet and they failed this morning. Well, that's too bad, Classic k Because that was already called Mr. Kuyak to call Zona to send you to Encalwood. I agree with your parents. Now come on. No buts, no excuses, and no exceptions. Mr. Kuyak. Like I told you last year, sending the wrong people to different places is against the law. So why are Z and Zona doing it again? 
smoothie. It's because Bose have just called me to call as you and to send Carl and Classic Kale out to I can do it. And it's also because they ruined Timberly's fourth birthday this morning. What? No, 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 no. Four. Crying out loud. I can't believe Bozer did this to Colin Classic Kayla. He needs to understand that Addison, Liam, and Maddie are the ones that are going to be sent to my calibre by Z and Zelda because they tried to make Timberly feel happier. I'm sorry, but I have to go now. Bye. Thanks, Miss Smithy. My little sister may see that caught surveillance footage of Carlin Classic Kayla doing this to poor Timberly. Yeah, I agree with my big sister Miley, so we have no choice but to tell Bowser to call Mr. Cooey out to call Z and Zana to send them to my cabinet instead of Madison and her two cousins. You girls did. What? Right. That's it. Miley and Macy, you have made me no choice. I'm going to have to give you a 30 minute timeout. So go to the timeout bench right now. Oh, hi. Good morning, Dylan. Happy birthday. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Sam and C. I can't believe I'm turning 23 today. We are glad to hear that dinner. And we think we're sending Carl and Classic Kayla to our calendar. That's great. This will teach them a lesson for ruining Timberly's fourth birthday. Okay then, I'm going to let you go now. Okay then, bye dinner. This is your new home. You boys will stay here until Christmas break, so we can send you back to Ontario. Yeah, that's right. So enjoy yourself. Man, we can't believe we got sent here by Z and Zelda instead of Addison, Liam, and Maddie. I know classic Caillou. It's just not fair. So let's call Lucy about this situation. Yeah, good idea, Carl. Um, hello? Hello. So, Lucy, are you at school? Yes, I am, Carl. Now what happened to you? I'm afraid I hate to say this. But Carl and I got sent to leave Calloway by Z and Zona because we ruined Timberly's fourth birthday yesterday. Right, that's it. That is the last straw. I am not putting up with this any longer. I am going to have to call Zeta and Mr. Morris about this right now. Okay then. Bye, Lucy. Hello. So, Lucy, are you in school? Yeah, are you? Yes, Zeta and Mr. Morris. I am. Now listen carefully. I received a call from Carl in Classic Caillou, and you are not going to believe what Z and Zan did to them. Ah, uh, oh no. Please don't tell us Z and Zan disobeyed me after I specifically told them to send Anson Liam and Maddie to a galoot. Actually, there was more than just that. It appears that Z and Zan just sent Carl in Classic Caillou to become it. All because they ruined Timberly's fourth birthday yesterday. Oh, really? Well, I better tell Mr. Morris to check on his phone. Just give us for a second. Um, okay, Zeta. Thanks, Lucy. Okay, Mr. Morris, I would like you to check on your phone to see if Zeta's admin did send Carl and Classic Caillou to a collude or not. Um, okay, Zeta. Oh, four, crying out loud. I think Lucy was absolutely right, Zeta. Z and Zana did send Carl and Classic Kiyu to a Calhoun instead of Addison, Liam, and Maddie. Oh my god, thanks for reminding me. Did I just hear that Z and Zana sent Carl and Classic Kiyu to a Calhoun instead of Addison, Liam, and Maddie? Yes, they did, Miss Trunchbull. Oh my goodness gracious, how dare they do that? They need to be sentenced to prison? until Christmas break for sending the wrong people to different places. I agree with that. Lucy, Mr. Morris thinks you were totally right. First, I specifically told Zadna to send Liam and Maddie to a glute. After that, I specifically told Z to send Addison there. And then, they just sent Carl and Classic Caillou there. So that is the last time they disobeyed me. Yeah. And since they disobeyed her, I'm going to have to call the police, so they can arrest Sana and see after they take two of their flights back to Toronto. Okay then, you take care now. You too, bye. Lucy, didn't Mrs. Robin tell you to get back to work? Um, yes. Then, why did it you? It's because I just received a call from Carl in Classic Caillou and they told me that Z and Zana just sent them to a Calvert. 
so I decided not to put up with this any longer. Oh, so what did you do? I called Zeta and Mr. Morris the same thing. Now listen carefully. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. We'll listen. Thank you. So first, Zeta specifically told Zama to send Liam and Maddie to eat Hamlet. After that, she specifically told Zeta to send Addison there. And then, they just sent my best friend Carl and Classy Kai there. So that's why Mr. Morris is going to call the police right now so they can arrest Z and Zama. Wait, what the? No, this cannot be happening. Lucy, tomorrow's Maya's birthday. Well, I don't care. No, you need to care. Besides, Z and Zama did the right thing, cause Carl and Classic Caillou ruined Timberley's fourth birthday yesterday. And he is not your best friend, he's a very bad boy. So just for using your phone during class, you just owe me ten minutes. Yeah, so after school, you can stay in detention until 3.30. Now if you don't mind, I have to tell Mrs. Clementine to call Z and Zana about this situation. So Z and Zana. Did you send Carl and our son Classic Caillou to a Callaway? Yes, guys. We did. Yeah, I agree. Thank you, Z and Zana. This is going to teach them a lesson for ruining Timberly's fourth birthday. And we think Dylan wants to tell us something important for tomorrow. Okay then, take care now. You too, bye. Hello Dylan, so is there something you want to tell us about? Yes, see and Sam, I do. Tomorrow is Molly's very special day. Wait just a minute. Do you think tomorrow is Maya's birthday? Yes, it's true. Wow. We can't believe she's going to be 11 tomorrow. Yeah, so is it okay if we can call Addy, Maya, Colin, and Layla? Oh, sure you can. Thanks, Dylan. Goodbye. Um, hello. Hello, Addy, Maya, Colin, and Layla. How are you guys doing? We're doing just fine. Thanks for asking us. You're welcome. So, Maya, do you have a plan for tomorrow? Yes, see and Zona, I do. But before I can tell you, I need to ask you something. Who's calling you? Hello, Addy, Maya, Colin, and Layla. Oh, hi, Mrs. Clementine. So, you're leaving the phone on to listen? Yeah, that's correct. So, anyway, Maya, carry on. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Clementine. Now, Maya, what is your plan? My plan is this. I'm inviting you and Z to my 11th birthday party tomorrow. Wait, is this true? Yes, Ian Sam. It's going to be a lot of fun. I agree with my sisters, Addy and Maya. Yeah, me too. We are glad to hear that, but we think someone else is calling us. What? Oh no. Don't tell us it's Zayden again. Yes, we are afraid so. And we think there are two more people who are calling us. Oh, are they Miss Trunchbull and Miss Jim Morris? Yep, yeah, are they? Yes, absolutely. And we don't think they are too happy about what we did. Not too happy? No, we're afraid not. Okay then, be careful. And tomorrow, be there by 9 o'clock in the morning. We were kids. Bye. Oh no, Mrs. Ramirez. I don't think it's going to be good. No, Mrs. Clementine, it isn't. Zama and Z. Oh, okay, Zeta, Mr. Morris, and Miss Trunch. We can explain. Yeah, unfortunately. Shut your mouth. Lucy already told us what happened. I just checked on my phone to see what you and Z did wrong. I already called Toronto Police Department, and I think they're going to arrest you two after you take two of your flights back to Toronto. Yeah, that's right. No, listen, Maya, see and sound it, see bit. That's right. You two should have thought of that before you decided to disobey me. What did I say about sending the wrong people to different places? Us not to do it. Correct. So why did you send Carl and Classic Caillou to a collude after I specifically told you to send Addison Liam and Maddie to a collude? Please give me the reason. All right, Zeta, fine. The reason why we sent Carl and Classic came back to our Caillou is because those are called Mr. Kuya to call me and Zana to do it. There. Now we know the reason. What the... Right, that's it. Bowser has got too far this time. He needs to understand that Addison, Liam, and Patty are the ones that are going to be sent to a collude by you and Zana. Because she was not supposed to steal Karen Nickerinson's credit card, and her cousins weren't supposed to be trying to cut classic Caillou's internet. And one more thing. We are glad you gave Zina the reason. 
So we are going to let you go now. Okay then, bye see to Mr. Morris and Miss Tunchkin. Oh my goodness gracious. See you, Miss Anna. Thanks for letting me leave the phone on to listen. I am going to have to report Lizzie to my office right now. With pleasure, Mrs. Clementine. Yeah, anytime. Bye. Lucy Vanfield, report to my office immediately. Lucy, is this true that you're going to get Sian Sina arrested? Yes, Mrs. Ramirez, that's correct. The reason why I'm going to get them arrested is because they were supposed to send Addison, Liam, and Maddie to a conflict, not Carl in Classic Caillou. Well, Lucy, Sian Sina did the right thing by sending Carl in Classic Caillou to a conflict, because they were in Timberley's fourth birthday yesterday. And besides, Maya is inviting Zian Zyla to her 11th birthday party tomorrow. So if you get them arrested, you will hurt her feelings. You wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Oh, uh, no, I suppose not. Good, now you may go back to class. Freeze, you two are under arrest for sending Carl and Classic K. Lanoi Coward instead of Addison, Liam and Maddie. Yeah, that's right. You two were supposed to send them to Icalit, not Carl and Classic K. Lanoi. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Now come with us to the police car. We are going to take you to jail, and you can stay there until Christmas break. That's right. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. Perfect. Now that Zizab got arrested, I am going to use my magic to make Carl and Classic Ivy move back to Ontario. That's a good idea, Zayda. Besides, the Sonic and Sue are supposed to send Addison, and Liam and Maddie to a Kamloops, not Carl and Classic Kylie. I know, Mr. Morris, and I didn't like them disobeying me. Wow! We can't believe we got sent back to our turn. I know Carl. Thanks to Zayda's magic. Wait, what? Zayda's magic? Oh, my goodness gracious. Honey, I think Zayda just used her magic to make our son Carl and Classic Ivy move back from Nunavut to Ontario. Oh my goodness. How dare Zayda do this? She needs to understand that Carl and Classic Kayla was supposed to stay in Icalowit until Christmas break, because they ruined Timberley's fourth birthday yesterday. I have to agree with that. So I better call the loop restaurant waiters about this situation. Yeah, good idea, Frida. Good evening, Mrs. Kosagri, and how can we help you tonight? Good evening. You are not going to believe what happened to our son Carl and Classic Kaiyu. Really? What is it? You see, I'm afraid I hate to say this, but it appears that after they got sent to a loop by Zayda, Zayda just used her magic to make them move back to Ontario. What? Are you kidding us right now? Why in the world did Zeta use her magic to make Carl and Classic Caillou move back to Ontario? She should know they were supposed to stay in Galoon until Christmas break, because they just ruined Tim Burley's fourth birthday yesterday. I have to agree. Zeta should be ashamed of herself for what she did to Carl and Classic Caillou. Thanks for telling us, Mrs. Kasarani. We'll call her right away. Okay then, you take care now. You two, bye. Excuse me, but why are you calling me? Because I need to tell you something important. Well, what is it? Zeta, we just received a call from Mrs. Kasarandi, and she told us that we used your magic to make Carl and Classic Ivy move back to Ontario. Why did you do that? It's because Z and Zabna just disobeyed me for the last time. So they have completely lost their chances. Wait, what? Are you kidding us right now? No, we are not kidding. We are being very serious. We just received a call from Lucy Van Perl this morning, and she told us that Sinzana sent Carl and Classic King E. Calhoun instead of Addison, Liam, and Maddie. So I decided to call the police to arrest them, so they can stay in jail until Christmas break. What? No, you can't be serious right now. How dare Lucy get Sinzana arrested? She should know she's not allowed to do that because Maya is inviting them to her 11th birthday party tomorrow. So if they are still in jail, they will miss it. Yeah, and if they do, she may begin to cry. Well, Lucy had the right to do that. That is correct. 
The reason why she got Z and Zabka arrested is because I specifically told them to send Anson Leo and Maddie to a Kalu, and they disobeyed me. Wait! They disobeyed you for the last time after you specifically told them to send Madison Liam and Maddie to a Kalu. That's right. So we are going to hang up now. Yeah, so bye for now. Wow! Just wow. Okay, Lucy. Come with me to Maddie's bedroom at the second Christmas store. Oh, okay, Mr. Morris. And this time, I won't fail. Thank you. Now come with me. Sorry, Mr. Morris, but she's not coming with you. Oh no, we are not going through this again. Just let your daughter come with Mr. Morris so they can go to Maddie's bedroom at the second Christmas store. Yeah, I agree with Zeta. Now please let me pass, so we can go. My wife is right, so we suggest you leave Lucy alone until her grounding time is over. Mr. and Mrs. Van Pelt, stop it. Just let your daughter come with Mr. Morris right now. That's right, and if you don't, Zeta will call me to send you to Adelaide, Australia. How about no? Alright then, Mr. and Mrs. Van Pelt, you had your chance. Yep. I'm going to have to call Lee to send you to Adelaide, Australia right now. Alright, this is getting on our nerves. Hello, this is Lee speaking. Who is this? Hi Lee, this is Zeta the Sorceress speaking, and I want to tell you something about Lucy's parents. You're talking about Mr. and Mrs. Van Pelt? That's absolutely correct. You see, they just refused to let their daughter come with Mr. Morris to Ma's bedroom at the second Christmas store. That's true, Zeta. Because if she tries to ruin Molly's 11th birthday, I will send her to Adelaide, Australia. I'm sorry, Lee, but I'm afraid your parents decided not to let Mr. Morris pass. Well, still, Lee will send Lucy to Adelaide, Australia if she tries to ruin Molly's 11th birthday. Come on, Sue. I am talking to Lee. So please let me finish. Now Lee, I would like you to send her parents to Adelaide, Australia, please. Zeta, they are not troublemakers now. And besides, Lucy is a troublemaker, so she will be the one who is going to be sent to Adelaide, Australia by me. Ugh, Lee, I beg your pardon, but you won't send her to Adelaide, Australia. I demand you send her parents to Adelaide, Australia now because they refused to let their daughter come with Mr. Morris. Zeta, she's not going to send them to Adelaide, Australia. Jen, just let me finish, please. Lee, this is your warning. If you don't send Mr. and Mrs. Van Pelt to Adelaide, Australia, Mr. Morris will call the cops to arrest you. So I suggest you do it right this instant. Zeta, quit it. I am not going to send them to Adelaide, Australia, and that's it. Yeah, Zeta, that's correct. Zeta, come on. Lee, last warning. Either you send Mr. and Mrs. Van Pelt to Adelaide, Australia right now, otherwise Mr. Morris will call the police to arrest you. Please make your decision. Art, fine Zeta, I'll do whatever you want. Thank you, Lee. Goodbye. For crying out loud. Zay, there is no way Lee is going to send Mr. and Mrs. Van Pelt to Adelaide, Australia. Besides, their daughter Lucy is a troublemaker. So, like Lee said, she will be the one who is going to Adelaide, Australia. I'm sorry, but she needs to send her parents to Adelaide, Australia. Well, that doesn't matter. So, Zaya, I'm afraid I have no choice but to call Mr. Q. I have to call Lee to return here, because Mr. and Mrs. Van Pell are not moving to Adelaide, Australia, and that's it. Come on, this is serious. Let me send them to Adelaide, Australia. We're sorry, but we don't have a choice. Goodbye. Hey, like I said before. All right, Lucy. Now that we are in Mommy's bedroom, which birthday gift would you like to take? I would like to take a musical globe, please. All right. Mommy's musical globe is the answer. Wow, it sure has eight chaos emeralds. What do you think? You're right, Mr. Morris. The first chaos emerald is yellow. The second chaos emerald is blue. The third chaos emerald is red. The fourth chaos emerald is green. The fifth chaos emerald is purple. 
the sixth chaos emerald is orange, the seventh chaos emerald is cyan, and the last chaos emerald is pink. Well, they're too bright. I know, and I don't think you'd like it when they are so bright. So come on, Lucy. Let's bring Mommy's musical globe to the electrocution room in Smithy's factory house. Live and Patron, why isn't the door locked again? Didn't K. Miranda Jones tell the other kids many times to lock the door once they leave? Um, yes. What do you think you are talking about, Mr. Morris? Live and Peyton, he's talking about the door that it's not locked. So now you girls are going to let King Daddy take all the stuff away from Smithy's factory house for the fifth time. That belonged to the League of Entitled Caroms? Yeah, that's right. Well, not this time. Why not, Zeta? It's because all the stuff belonged to the League of Entitled Caroms. So I suggest that you girls lock the door right now. Sorry, but that's not going to work. We do not want Lucy to ruin Mike's birthday. Liv and Peyton, quit it. Just lock the door. And we already told you we are not going to let her ruin Mike's birthday. You girls better not make Lucy fail her job again. And besides, today is Ma's birthday. And we are not going to let her have the best birthday ever. So, either you lock the door right now, or I will use my magic to make it lock. Please make the right decisions. How about now? Right. You girls have lost your privileges. I'm going to use my magic to make the door lock right now. There. It's locked. Thanks, Zeta, for using your magic to make the door lock. With pleasure, Lucy. Now you might as well tell Dr. Dark Eggman to fire the electricity sparks, and fast, because... The Chaos Emeralds are going to make Ma's musical globe play the annoying music in about a minute. I'm on it, Zeta. I won't let them get... Hey, Lucy. How is your day? Dr. Dark Eggman. I don't have time to answer your question. I need you to go in there and fire the electricity sparks, and fast, because I think the Chaos Emeralds are going to make Molly's musical blow play the annoying music in about 30 seconds. Got it, Lucy. And I know you hate it. Yeah, that's true.
did it, Lucy. You finally won. That musical globe is gone. Now Maya won't be able to hear that annoying music anymore. Zeta and I are so proud of you. I agree with Mr. Morris. Wow. Well, thanks, Zeta and Mr. Morris. You two are the best. Anytime, Lucy. Lucy, just ignore your parents, okay? Um, okay. Thank you. Now let's go to my office. Reese, you are under arrest for committing a lot of crimes. Come on, we are not doing this again. Get out of Mr. Morris's office right now, or I will have the League of Entitled Karens taking you to court when they get here. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry Zeta and Mr. Morris, but I am arresting Lucy right now, and she is going to the interrogation room so we can get more information about her. Um, Addy, has anyone seen Zama and Z? I'm sorry, Mina, but I don't know where they are. Oh, I'll tell you where they are. You see, Andy and Mara, they are at the police station, which means they got arrested by Lucy last night. What the heck? No, this can't be happening. Zita, yesterday I just said to Z and Zamra I am inviting them to my birthday party. I agree what my sister said, and our cousin Layla told them to be there by 9 o'clock in the morning. So why did Lucy get them arrested? Addy, it's because I specifically told them to send Anson Liam and Maddie to a Kalud, and they disobeyed me. So Mr. Morris had no choice but to call the police to arrest him. As for your mother, maybe next time. No, Zita, I don't want next time. I want Z and Zara now. Well, Maya, that's too bad, because they should have thought of that before they decided to disobey me. You see, they told me, Mr. Morris and Miss Trunchbull, that Bowser called Mr. Q had to call them to send Carl and Classic Caillou to a Kalud, just after I told them to send Anson Liam and Maddie there. So, like I said, maybe next time, got it? Zayna, stop it. You're making my sister even more sad. And besides, she really wants to see Anzana now. Also, Lucy needs to understand that they didn't do anything wrong, because they did the right thing by sending Carl and Classic Kind to Mikalowin to teach them a lesson from ruining Timberley's fourth birthday. Abby, knock it off. Lucy had the right to get Z and Zanna arrested, because they were supposed to send Anson Liam and Maddie to a Kalud, not Carl and Classic Kaiyu. So I decided to use my magic to make them move back to Ontario. Wait, what? How could you do this? You see, Addy, Z and Zana just disobeyed me for the last time. So they have completely lost their chances. No, Zayna, you need to stop this. Carl and Classic Kai were supposed to stay in Iqaluit until Christmas break, because they ruined Timberley's fourth birthday two days ago, since Miley and Macy caught surveillance footage of them doing this. They did what? Oh, for crying out loud. I should have known it was Marley and Macy who did it to Carl and Classic Caillou the whole time. Have they lost their minds? They need to understand that as Liam and Maddie are the ones that are going to be sent to a Kalu by Z and Zana because she wasn't supposed to steal Karen McCarrison's credit card and her cousins weren't supposed to be trying to cut Classic Caillou's internet. So, Eddie, because Marley and Maisie made the boys get sent to a glute by Z and Zama, I'm going to have to call Jam to send the girls to Japan. What? Japan? I don't think that's a good idea. Hello, this is Jam speaking. Who is calling me? Hello Jam, this is Zeta the Sorceress. I'm calling to tell you, because Marley and Maisie made Carl and Classic Kaiyu get sent to a glute by Z and Zama. Well Zeta. They did the right thing, because Carl and Classic Kaiyu ruined Timberley's fourth birthday two days ago. So I'm afraid they are going to stay in Canada. Nope. Sorry, Jam, but they need to move to Japan. So I want you to leave Nunavut and move to Ontario first. Second, send them to Japan. Third, leave Japan and return to Canada. Last, leave Ontario and return to Nunavut. Okay, excuse me, but I'm afraid I can't do that, because Japan is way too far from Canada. So I'm afraid they can't go. Jen, please, this is serious, you know what you have to do. First, 
Leave Nunavut and move to Ontario. Second, send Marley and Maisie to Japan. Third, leave Japan and return to Canada. Last, leave Ontario and return to Nunavut. Okay, Zeta, this isn't working. You have to let me get busy here, because the waiters don't want me to leave this restaurant before 6.30. Goodness gracious heavens, Jam. I shouldn't have to repeat this again. Send Marley and Maisie to Japan right this instant. All right, Zeta, this is getting on my nerves now. I am not going to send them to Japan, and that's fine. Come on, for the last time, Jam. They are going to Japan, because they made Carl and Classic High you get sent to a galoot by Z and Zatman. So, Zeta, don't start with this over and over again. Jen is not going to send Miley and Maisie to Japan, and that's the end of it. Excuse me, Sue, but I am almost done talking to Jen. So please let me finish. My wife and I have to agree with that. Like they said, Japan is way too far from Canada, so the girls can't go. Besides, they did the right thing, cause Carl and Classic Caillou ruined Tim Burley's fourth birthday two days ago. So, leave Jan alone. And like I told Sue before, I am almost done talking to Jan. So the reason why you have to let me finish is because Marley and Maisie need to get punished. So no, I am not going to leave her alone until we don't ever want to hear about it. Marley and Maisie are staying in Canada, and that's the end of it. So goodbye for now. Well, Zeta, my sister and I know you're angry, all because you wanted Miley and Maisie to get punished by getting sent to Japan by Jan. Yes, Addy, that's why I was almost done talking to her. But instead, Sue and the waiter stopped me from calling her. That's true. You see, Japan is way too far from Canada, so she cannot send the girls there. Well, Adi, you know what? I'm afraid I am going to have to call the police to arrest Jen because she refused to listen to Z after she told her to send Miley and Missy to jump on. Miss Crunchbull, please, Jan doesn't want to go to jail. I'm sorry, Adi, but this is what she gets for refusing to listen to me. No, Zeta, listen. Miley and Macy did the right thing, cause Carl and Classic Kai ruined Timberly's fourth birthday two days ago. And that I told you before, Maya really wants Z and Zana now. Come on, Addy. I already told your sister she can see Z and Zana next time. Zayna, knock it off. Now you're making my sister cry. You need to stop, right now. Addy? No, she's right. Maya was supposed to invite Z and Zana to her birthday party today. That's right. Yesterday they just received a call from me and I told them that it's a very special day, so we can't believe that Lucy ruined her birthday. Well, Dylan and Colin, Maya deserves an unhappy birthday because she, her siblings, and her friends disobeyed the League of Entitled Karens twice after Kate Miranda Jones literally told them many times to lock the door once they leave in the past. Well, Zeta, on April 4th, 2023, they decided not to let Paper Luigi 99 ruin Emma's 8th birthday. And on August 2nd, 2023, they decided not to let Lucy ruin Melody Luna's 4th birthday. Guys, stop it. That is enough. Now you are pissing me off. You know what? That's it. I've had quite enough. I'm going to my lair to work on my computer to calm me down. Zeta, just wherever you think you are going, we are not done yet. Jen, you are under arrest for refusing to listen to Zeta after she told you to send Miley and Macy to Japan. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Come with me, please. Excuse me, officer, but there is no way Jen is going to get arrested. Alright Lucy, it's time to go. No, I thought Zeta called you to send my parents to Adelaide, Australia. Well, that's too bad, Lucy. Because Baz already called Mr. Kiel had to call me to send you to Adelaide, Australia. I agree with Officer Chris and Agent Henry. Now come on, no buts, no excuses, and no exceptions. Wait, what the heck? No, 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 no. Honey, I can't believe that it's already past 9 o'clock. 
Which means Ma's 11th birthday just got worse today. Oh, four, crying out loud. First, Lucy got the Inferno arrested last night, and then today, she just made Ma's musical globe and the Chaos Emeralds lose power and get into a big black hole. I know. All because she didn't like the annoying music. So I'm afraid she made her cry. Or, oh, why? She really wanted to have the best birthday ever. I know, honey. I'm sorry to hear about her. Poor Maya is never happy at all. So I better call the loot restaurant waiters about this situation. Well, I think they would love to hear about poor Maya. Good evening, Mrs. Kosagrebi. What's up? Good evening. Wait a minute, Mrs. Kosagrebi. Why are you sad? I'm afraid I have no choice to say this, but it appears that it's already past 9 o'clock, which means Ma's birthday just got worse today. My god. We are so sorry to hear about her. I have to agree. Poor Ma. It's very sad that her 11th birthday got worse. Yeah. So I'm afraid it made her feel extra heartbroken, and it's sad that she cried so badly. Yeah, I know. So by the way, Lee is sending Lucy to Adelaide, Australia. That's good. This will teach her a lesson for getting seeds out of arrested and ruining Maui's 11th birthday. That's correct. First, she got the seeds out of arrested last night. And then today, she made Maui's musical glow and the Chaos Emeralds lose power and get into a big black hole. That's right. Lucy needs to understand that Z and Zana didn't do anything wrong, because they did the red thing by sending Carl and Classic Caillou to Ikalu to teach them a lesson for ruining Tim Burley's fourth birthday. And she also needs to realize that making Maya's musical glow and the Chaos Emeralds lose power and get into a big black hole might make her cry. Okay, we're going to hack up now. Okay then, have a good night. Mom and Dad, what did I just hear from my room last night? Wait, you heard us from your room last night? Yeah, that's right. You see, Carl, I couldn't believe that it had already passed 9 o'clock last night, which means Ma's birthday just got worse. So I decided to call the loop restaurant waiters about it. Wait, what? That's right. Also, they told me that Lee is sending Lucy to Adelaide, Australia. Yeah, I thought so. I'm going to have to tell Zayla, Mr. Morris, and Miss Trunchbull about this situation, because yesterday I thought I heard her calling me to send Lucy's parents to Adelaide, Australia. Well, Carl, that's too bad, because Bowser already called Mr. Kuyak to call me to send their daughter to Adelaide, Australia. Oh my god! I can't believe Bowser did this to my best friend. Ah, no. She's not your best friend. She's a very bad girl. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad, but I'm afraid I must sleep. Oh, good morning, Carl. How was your sleep? My sleep was going just to find Zayn of Mr. Morris and Miss Trunchbull. Now listen to me. I just heard my parents receiving a call from the guy who dressed about waiters from my room last night, and they told each other about Lee sending my best friend Lucy to Adelaide, Australia, to teach her a lesson for getting Zayn Zayn arrested and ruining Maya's birthday. Also, my parents said that Bowser called Mr. Hill had to call Lee to send Lucy to Adelaide, Australia, and they told me that she's not my best friend. She's a very bad girl. Oh my god, how dare your parents say that? They do not ever say anything about Lucy again, cause that hurts her feelings. Yeah, I agree. And Bowser needs to understand that Mr. and Mrs. Van Pelt are the ones that are going to be sent to Adelaide, Australia by Lee, because they refused to let their daughter come with Mr. Morris yesterday. Wow, we can't believe Bowser did this. And you know what, that's it. We've had enough of Lee sending your best friend Lucy to Adelaide, Australia instead of her parents. Since she disobeyed me for the third time... I'm going to have to call the police, so they can arrest her after the plane lands in Adelaide. Yeah, good idea. Okay, I'm going to see if our precious kids are awake yet. Oh, okay. Okay, mommy, 
we think the plane is going to land in Adelaide's body and Lucy in about a couple hours. Thank you, my precious kids. This will teach Lucy a lesson for getting Z and Sam arrested and ruining my birthday. And I'm glad to see that you two are awake. This is your new home. You will stay here until Christmas break, so I can send you back to Canada. So enjoy yourself. Not so fast. Lee, you are under arrest for sending Lucy to Adelaide, Australia instead of her parents. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Now get in the police car, so we can take you to jail. And you can stay there until Christmas break. And then we can take Lucy back to Adelaide Airport, so she can go back to Canada. Don't worry, Lucy. We will take you back to Adelaide Airport right after we take Lee to jail. Oh, thank you, officer. So, Lee, did you send our daughter to Adelaide, Australia? Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Van Pelt. I did. Thank you. This will teach her a lesson for getting Zanzona arrested and ruining Maya's 11th birthday. I have to agree with my husband. But why are you at the police station? Mr. and Mrs. Van Pelt, it's because I sent your daughter to Adelaide instead of you and your husband. Wait. What? How could this happen? Oh, I'll tell you how we got arrested, Mr. and Mrs. Van Pelt. You see, it appears that Mr. Morris already called Canberra Police Department to arrest her. Why? It's because I specifically told her to send you and your husband to Adelaide, and she disobeyed me, since Carl told me Mr. Morris and Miss Trunchbull what happened. What the? Oh, for crying out loud. Lee, is this true that Carl got you arrested? Yes, I'm afraid so. Oh, my goodness gracious. We can't believe Carl did this to you. He needs to understand that you didn't do anything wrong because you did the right thing by sending our daughter to Adelaide to teach her a lesson for getting Z and Zona arrested and ruining my 11th birthday. I bet you could my cousin's restaurant waiters about this. So what time is yours? Our time is 7.53 in the evening. And what about you? Our time is 11.53 in the morning. Whoa. Your time is 16 hours ahead of us. Yeah, that's correct. And you're not going to believe what Carl did to me. Ah, not again. What now? You see, I'm afraid I hate to say this, but it appears that he got me arrested. All because she sent Lucy to Adelaide, Australia instead of her parents. We can't believe Lee is staying in jail until Christmas break. Wait, what the time? No, 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 no. How dare Carl do this to Lee? He needs to understand that she didn't do anything wrong, because she did the right thing by sending Lucy to Adelaide, Australia to teach her a lesson for getting Z and Zabna arrested and ruining Maya's 11th birthday. Yeah! Carl should be ashamed of himself for what he did to Lee. Thanks for telling us. We'll call him right away. Okay then, take care now. Hello! And what can I do for you? Hello Carl, we need to tell you something about Lee. Okay, then what is it? Carl, why did you get Lee arrested? It's because I just heard my parents telling you about Maya's birthday from my room last night. And also, I heard you guys telling each other about me sending my best friend Lucy to Adelaide, Australia. One more thing, this morning, my daddy said that Bowser called Mr. Kill had to call me to do it. Wait! What? Oh my gosh, now we understand. Yeah, what's wrong with you? You should know Lee didn't do anything wrong, cause she did the right thing by sending Lucy to Adelaide, Australia to teach her a lesson for getting Z's out of arrested and ruining Maya's 11th birthday. And like we told you this morning, she is not your best friend, she's a very bad girl. That's correct. So Carl, I'm afraid I have no choice but to call the police to arrest you, and I am also going to have to call Christopher to send you to New York, New York, the United States. Excuse me, but listen to me. Australia is way too hot for my best friend Lucy. Come on Carl, like your parents told you before, Lucy is not your best friend. She's a very bad girl. So that's it. No more? Okay. Now bye. Freeze. You are under arrest for getting me arrested. Hey! Stop! I don't want to go to jail. 
Yeah, that's right. So, for crying out loud, we are not doing this over and over again. Get out of Mr. Morrison's office right this instant, or I will call the League of Entitled Karens to take you to court. I'm sorry, Zayda and Mr. Morris, but I am arresting Carter right now, and he is going to the interrogation room so we can get more information about him. Okay, Carl, it's time to get ready to go. No buts, no excuses, and no exceptions. I agree with Christopher. Pardon me, but why am I getting sent to New York, New York, the United States? It's because you got me arrested yesterday. Now go with him. So, Christopher, did you send our son Carl to New York, New York, the United States? Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Casagrande, I did. Thank you, Christopher. This is going to teach them a lesson for getting me arrested. Bye. Excuse me, but why am I here? Carl, it's because you got me arrested yesterday. Yeah, that's right. You need to understand that she didn't do anything wrong, because she did the right thing by sending Lucy to Adelaide, Australia to teach her a lesson for getting CS out unrested and ruining Maya's birthday. I beg your pardon, but Australia is way too hot for my best friend Lucy. Come on, Carl. She's not your best friend. She's a very bad girl. Now if you will excuse us, we have to get back to work. Stop. Right. There. Christopher. You are under arrest for sending Carl to New York, New York, the United States. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Now come with us to the police car. We are going to take you to jail, and you can stay there until Christmas break. Don't worry, Carl. We will take you back to John F. Kennedy International Airport. Right after we take Christopher to jail, so you can go back to Canada. Lucy, what the? No, 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 no. I can't believe that Canberra Police Department in Australia made you go back to Canada. Since Carl got me arrested, you were supposed to stay there until Christmas break. What? You can't be serious right now. Honey, I can't believe the New York City Police Department made our son Carl go back to Canada since Christopher got arrested. No, 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 no. How dare they do this? Carl was supposed to stay in New York, New York, the United States because he got me arrested. I have to agree with that. So can you please tell me who got Christopher arrested? Sure, Frida, I can do that. See, I believe Sage who is a new member of the Alanis Dios, just got Christopher arrested, all because he sent our son Carl to New York, New York, the United States. What? You've got to be kidding me right now. How dare Sage do this? She needs to understand that Christopher didn't do anything wrong, because he did the right thing by sending Carl to New York, New York, the United States to teach him a lesson for getting me arrested. I know Frida. Sage, who is also Sarah's rival, is going to be in so much trouble for this. I agree. Thanks, Sage, for calling the police to arrest Christopher. I agree with Zaya. He deserves it for sending Carl to New York, New York, the United States. With pleasure, Zeta and Mr. Morris. And you might want to take a look at this. Oh my gosh, yes, last year, Carl and Blake Harrison tried to ruin Timberley's third birthday and they failed. Yeah. All because Lynn and Peyton cut Blake Harrison's internet. Yeah, that's right. He was supposed to cancel Timberley's birthday delivery when he got to school. Because Karen wanted her credit card back. And what about this? Yes, classic high you and the other nasty games failed to ruin Lucy Procure's ninth birthday a year ago. Yes, so this better not happen again tomorrow. Also, we think London stole Dark Bowser's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all the stuff for Lucy's 10th birthday. Oh my gosh, how dare London do this? She needs to understand that stealing someone's stuff is not okay, because that credit card belongs to Dark Bowser. We know Sage, so don't worry, we will tell Paula the Pirate Sorceress about this, so she can advise you to cancel Lucy's birthday delivery when you get to school. I think that sounds like a great idea. And if you want me to tell you about Maya in the past two days, then I will. See? Lucy did a great job getting Z and Zana arrested. Also, she made Maya's musical glow, and the Chaos Emeralds lose power, and get into a big black hole. Yeah, you got that right. Maya deserved an unhappy birthday, 
because she, her siblings, and her friends disobeyed the League of Entitled Karens twice after Kate Miranda Jones literally told them many times to lock the door once they leave in the past. That's right. First, Paper Luigi 99 failed to ruin Emma Thompson's 8th birthday on April 4th, 2023. And then, Lucy failed to ruin Melody Luna's 4th birthday for the second time on August 2nd, 2023. Yes, the last two days, she didn't fail her job for the third time. Oh no, not this again. Freeze, you are under arrest for getting Christopher arrested. No, I don't want to go to jail. So come on, Officer Chris. For the last time, this is Mr. Morrison's office, and nobody else is allowed in here. So we suggest you go away immediately, otherwise I will have the League of Entitled Karens taken you to court. I'm sorry, but I am arresting Sage right now, and she is going to the interrogation room so we can get more information about her. Paula the Pirate Sorceress, report to Mr. Morris's office immediately. Okay, Zeta and Mr. Morris, I'm here. Now what is it do you want to tell me about? Paula, we're glad you asked. See, we believe London stole Dark Bowser's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all the stuff for Lucy Procure's 10th birthday. Oh. For crying out loud, how did Emma do this? She should know that stealing someone's stuff is not okay, because the next dog was a mad. Yeah, London should be ashamed of herself for what she did to Doc Bowser. So here's what you are going to do. If you suggest Sage cancel Lucy's birthday delivery when she gets to school, and call Island to return Dark Bowser's credit card, then he will be very happy. What do you think? I think that sounds good, Zeta and Mr. Morris. Okay, I'm going back now. All right then, suit yourself. Um, hello. Oh, hello there, Paula. I know. Zeta and Mr. Morris told me last night about London. I know, Sage. So here's what you're going to do. Since Lucy Procure's birthday gifts are going to be delivered in about 12 minutes, how about you cancel her birthday delivery before it's too late, and call Alan to return Dark Bowser's credit card? Then he will be very happy. What do you think? I think that sounds good, Paula. Just give me for a minute. Okay, I'm going to cancel Lucy's birthday delivery before it's too late. Lucy Procure's birthday delivery has been cancelled. Yes, I cancelled Lucy's birthday delivery. So Sage, did you cancel it? Yes, Paula, I did. Perfect. When is she going to have her birthday gifts now? Now you can call Alan to return Dark Bowser's credit card. Oh, thank you, Paula. Bye. Um, hello? Oh, hello, Sage. And why are you happy? Alan, I'm happy because I cancelled Lucy Procure's birthday delivery. Wow. Great. When is she going to have her birthday gifts now? Anyway, my friends and I stopped Leland and Yana from trying to cut your internet. That's good, Alan. Now you can return Dark Bowser's credit card to him. Sure thing, Sage. I can do that. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, you got them right, Alan. Mr. Morris and I heard everything that happened today. First, I'm going to call Sage to send Leland and Lena to England. Then, I can call Janice to send London there. Good morning. Who is this? Good morning, Sue. This is Sage the Sorceress. I'm calling to tell you, because Leland and Lena tried to cut Sage's internet, but luckily, they failed thanks to the Alan Astiums. So I demand you send them to London, England now. Well, Zeta, instead of that, I will send the Alan Astiums there. Excuse me? But I'm serious. Send Leland and Lena to the United Kingdom immediately, and leave the Alanastiums in Canada. No, London is going to miss them. I don't care. Just do it, all right? Art, right. fine Zeta. Thank you. Bye. Come on, Zay. There's no way Sue is going to send Leland and Lena to the United Kingdom. Like she said before, London is going to miss them. Yeah, and nobody wants that to happen. So, Zaya, I'm afraid I have no choice but to call Mrs. Pitts to call Sue to return here, because Leland and Lena are not moving to the United Kingdom, and that's it. I beg your pardon, but just let Sue send them to the United Kingdom. Now, if you don't mind, I have to talk to Janice. So, goodbye. Hello, this is Janice speaking. Who is this? Hello, Janice. 
This is Zeta the Sorceress. I'm calling to tell you because London stole Dark Bowser's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all this stuff for Lucy's 10th birthday. But luckily, Paula advised Sage to cancel her birthday delivery and call Island to return Dark Bowser's credit card to him. So I demand you send London to London, England now. What's he shut? Instead of that, I will send Paula and Sage there. Pardon me, but this is serious. Send her to the United Kingdom and leave them in Canada. No, she is going to miss being in Canada. Doesn't matter. Just do it, okay. Oh, right, fine, Sisha. Thanks. Bye. Okay, Alan. Zeta finished calling Sue to send Leland and Leanna to London, England. Thanks. This will teach them a lesson for trying to cut Sage's internet. With pleasure. Now I am going to call Sage and tell her that Zeta finished calling Janice to send London to London, England. Yeah, good idea, Mr. Morris. Okay, Sage. Zeta finished calling Janice to send London to London, England. Thank you, Mr. Morris. This will teach her a lesson for stealing Dark Bowser's credit card. Fine. Oh, right. That's it. Leo, Sarah, and Clementine, what are you guys doing here? Ms. Murray, our friend Kayla just got surveillance footage of Sergei and the rest of the young nasty was doing this to Paul Lucy Procure. Yeah, that's right. So he told us to report it to Mrs. Clementine what happened. Yeah, absolutely. So don't worry about a thing. I'm going to have to report Sage to my office right now. And thanks for reporting this incident to Leo, Sarah, and my precious daughter, Clementine. She and the rest of the Alanastiums are going to get it. Sage, report to my office immediately. Sage, listen to us. I just got a report from Leah, Sarah, and my precious daughter Clementine, and they said that their friend Kaylan just caught surveillance footage of you and the rest of the Alanastiums doing this to poor Lucy Procure. I think he just cancelled her birthday delivery and called Alan to return Dark Bowser's credit card since you did Paula a favor. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us the truth right now. Why did you do this? It's because London stole Dark Bowser's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all the stuff for Lucy Procure's birthday last night. So I'm sorry. But Leland and Leanna failed to cut my internet because Alan and his friends stopped them. Excuse us. But even Lana and London were supposed to make Lucy happy. And you know Dark Bowser doesn't deserve to have his credit card back, because he's the worst evil clone ever. So because of all that, you are suspended until Christmas break. Go home now. No, I can't go home until the end of the day. We are sorry, Sage, but this is what you get. Freeze. All of you are under arrest for committing a lot of crimes. Come on. There is no way the Alanastians are going to get arrested. Besides, they did the right thing, because Lila and Lena and London weren't supposed to make Lucy procure happy. I'm sorry, Zeta, but I am arresting the Alanastians right now, and they are going to the interrogation room so we can get more information about them. Okay, Alan, it's time for you and your friends to get ready to go. Come on, Sue, we're not doing this again. I thought Mr. Morris told me that Zeta finished calling you to send Leland and Leona to the United Kingdom. Why? It's because they tried to cut Sage's internet and they failed this morning. Well, that's too bad, Alan. Because Bowser already called Mrs. Pitts to call Sue to send your new friends to the United Kingdom. I agree with Officer Chris and Agent Henry. Now come on, no buts, no excuses, and no exceptions. Okay, Sage, it's time for you and your friend Paula to get ready to go. No, I just got a call from Mr. Morris, and he told me that Zeta finished calling you to send London to the United Kingdom. The reason is that she stole Dark Bowser's credit card and spent $20,000 to purchase all the stuff for Lucy's birthday last night. Well, that's too bad, Sage. Because Bowser already called Mrs. Pitts to call Janice to send you and Paula to the United Kingdom. I agree with Officer Chris and Agent Henry. Now come on. No buts, no excuses, and no exceptions. Mrs. Pitts, like I told Mr. Kuliak on the last day of November in 2022, sending the wrong people to different places is against the law. So why are Sue and Janice doing this? 
Smithy, it's because battles are just called me to cause you and Janice to send the Alamas teams to the United Kingdom. And it's also because they ruined Lucy Procure's 10th birthday yesterday. Wait, what the heck? Right, that's it. Bose has gone too far this time. He needs to understand that Lynn, Liana and London are the ones who are going to be sent to the United Kingdom by Sue and Janice. The reason is because they tried to make Lucy happy and they failed yesterday. I'm sorry, Smithy, but I have to go now. So goodbye. You see, Smithy, I just caught footage of the Alamastians doing this to poor Lucy Procure yesterday. So I had no choice but to tell my friends to report it to Mrs. Clementine what happened. And after we got home from school, we told Boza to call Mrs. Pitts to call Sue and Janice to send the Alanastiums to the United Kingdom instead of the Oshitake Mushrooms kids. You and your friends did. What? Oh, for crying out loud, Kaimi. We can't believe you and your friends did this to the Alanastiums yesterday. Yeah, what the heck is the matter with you and your friends? You need to understand that we and Lee Man London are the ones that are going to be sent to the United Kingdom by Sue and Janice, because they were not supposed to make Lucy procure happy. So hi you, since this is the first time Janice disobeyed me, and this is the fourth time Sue disobeyed me. I'm going to have to call the police, so they can arrest them after the plane lands in London, England. Yeah. And also, because you and your friends made the Alanastians get sent to the United Kingdom by Sue and Janice, I'm going to have to call Linda to send you to Dubai the United Arab Emirates. Hello, this is Linda speaking. Who is calling me? Hi Linda, this is Sada the Sorceress. I'm calling to tell you, because hi you, Leo, Sarah, and Clement I made the Alanastians get sent to the United Kingdom by Sue and Janice. Rosita, they did the right thing, because the Alanastians ruined Lucy Procure's 10th birthday yesterday. So I'm afraid they're going to stay in Canada. Nope. Sorry Linda, but they need to move to Dubai the United Arab Emirates. So I want you to leave Dubai and move to Canada first. Then, send them to the United Arab Emirates. Okay. Excuse me, but I don't think I can do that, because this place is too far from Canada. So I'm afraid Caleb and his friends can't go. Linda, I am not going to repeat this again. First, leave Dubai and move to Canada. Then, send Kai Yu and his friends to the United Arab Emirates. Okay. Zeta, this isn't working. You have to let me get busy here, because the waiters don't want me to leave this restaurant before 6.30. Oh my god, Linda. How many times do I have to tell you? I am not joking around, and I'm not kidding. I want you to leave Dubai and move to Canada first. Then, send Kai Yu and his friends to the United Arab Emirates. Okay. Alright Zeta, this is getting on my nerves now. I am not going to send them here, and that's final. Come on, Linda. For the last time, they are going to Dubai the United Arab Emirates, because they made the Alanastians get sent to the United Kingdom by Sue and Janice. So I want you to do everything. Zeta, don't start with this. Linda is not going to send Caillou and his friends here, and that's the end of it. I have to agree with my sister. Yeah, like they said, this place is too far from Canada, so Caillou and his friends can't go. Besides, that is the right thing, cause the Alanastians ruined Lucy Procure's 10th birthday yesterday. So, leave Linda alone. No. I am not going to leave Linda alone until she can. We don't ever want to hear about it. Caillou, Leo, Sarah, and Clementine are staying in Canada, and that's the end of it. So goodbye for now. Yes, Zeta. We know you are angry. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to call the police to arrest Linda because she refused to listen to you after you told her to send Kayla and his friends to Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Fantastic idea, Miss Trenchful. Stop. Right. There. Linda, you are under arrest for refusing to listen to Zeta. That's right. And you were supposed to do as she tells you to do. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. 
If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Now come with us to the police car. We're going to take you to jail, and you can stay there until Christmas break. This is your new home. You guys will stay here until Christmas break, so we can send you back to Canada. That's right. So enjoy yourselves. Not so fast. Sue and Janice, you two are under arrest for sending the out nasty ends to the United Kingdom instead of the Oshitaki Mushrooms kids. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Now, come with us to the police car. We are going to take you to jail, and you can stay there until Christmas break. And then after that, we will take the out nasty ends back to London Heathrow Airport. It's okay, Sage. You don't need to cry. We will get sent back to Canada soon. Oh, thanks, Alan. Don't worry, guys. We will take you back to London Heathrow Airport right after we take Sue and Janice to jail. Oh, thank you, officer. And I have to agree with you, Alan. We don't like being in London, England. Yes, we like being in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Yes, I know.
Yeah, that made Penelope cry. So I changed the bad wheel on her time. That's great, Bowser. Also, because Maya's 11th birthday just became worse on December 2nd, perhaps her 12th birthday will be better next year. We think 